welcome to another video and in today's vlog I'm taking you along with me on a very random unplanned behind the scenes photography video on a hike didn't quite go to plan we're supposed to hike Mantle but we didn't leave in time and then yeah it all went a bit hectic it's raining it's a bit crazy but yeah I hope you enjoy the video Long into the walk, I found what I wanted to photograph first. It was this concrete works structure thing that isn't operating anymore, I don't think. But I quite liked how it looked against the sun, so that was my first photo. This was the first one I took. It didn't quite work out how I wanted it to, but I then took this one from a different distance and it looked a lot, lot better. I'm always a big fan of some candid shots and involving people in them, so this is what I did. I just took a photo of my family climbing over this wall, and here's the image. I really quite liked it, the landscape one didn't quite work out. And this one I took two images, but I think I prefer the one on the left, which was the first one I took. lines are such an easy and quick technique to compose your images better and here is my first leading lines photo of the day which looked like this it wasn't quite how I wanted it to but I'm happy with it nonetheless and here are some more leading line photos which I actually quite liked but the Instagram crop for the first one didn't quite work out so this Instagram crop didn't work too well as it cuts off some of the foreground but this one is a favourite and I quite like the muddy ground. For this particular walk we weren't going to go up to the castle so I decided to shoot it with this wall and some of the trees framing it because I thought it looked quite nice. I'm just lowering the camera in order to try and get some of the water from the river in as this adds a nice element to the photo. So this is a finished image and I'm really happy with how the layers in the foreground direct your eyes straight to the castle. Castleton was such a beautiful and quaint village, like most villages in the Peak District. So I'm shooting another Leading Lines photo, as I quite like this wall, but I've also got some of the wall in the foreground, so that it adds a sense of depth of field to the image. This was the first shot and you can see how the bridge in the foreground adds to it. And this was the second image which I stood a bit further back just to get the river and the whole landscape in. But this image, it was a classic one of you think it will work and then you're not quite happy with it. So I quite liked the lamppost that was in the distance along with the road and I thought I'd try and capture that with the wall kind of drawing your attention straight to it. Despite it looking alright, it wasn't quite central or how I'd envisioned it, so I wasn't 100% happy with it. This was the landscape as I quite liked the light that was in the background that kind of gave it an ethereal quality. What I was trying to capture here was the road that led off into the distance and then that one didn't work out so I turned around and shot the one in the background which led back up to the village and we just walked down that one. This was that second image which I quite liked but the first image didn't work out. Now with this image that I'm shooting here I wasn't quite sure if it would work out how I had it in my mind so I tried some landscape shots but then ultimately opted for portrait and I don't think I ended up cropping it central but this is the final image and I'm very happy with how it turned out with the moody sky and the darkness in the foreground. The previous image that I tried that didn't work out, I then reshot it with this road which was way more windy 
and just gave a much better effect with how it looked. This was the result and I'm very happy with how it turned out, especially the dark colours. This, I really like how the moss walls draw your eye in along with the highlights on the path. And this, again another leading line but I quite like the old farm buildings and the cold tones to it. So that's the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave any comments if you've got any ideas, but I'll see you next time.